Okay, so this is how to use Canva, all right, um, for the logo. So here's just like my homepage here. And mine look a little different than yours because I'm the teacher, so it says obviously for my class. Um, and we're gonna go to templates and we're gonna go over to logo, like that. Now, there's gonna be a ton of different templates Okay, we're not going to use all those. Okay, they're nice to look at if you just kind of want to get some ideas. Um, but what I want to do is go to where it says blank logo. So you're going to be using this program um, to create your logo. And um, I'm just going to go through some of the basic stuff to make it. I'm going to basically start creating mine just for the sense of just so you can have something to look at um, as I walk you through it. Um, again, I'm not going to use all these like pre-made ones. Um, you can make it on your own and it's actually easier. Sometimes it's harder to start on a template that's already been started because you kind of feel like you can't change it. Um, and then you're most likely going to want to go to either where it says lines or shapes because um, the other stuff becomes just kind of, you're not going to use, you're not going to use all that stuff. So um, lines and shapes is where we're going to start. So if your like logo has a circle in it, or you know um, other stuff. Now I know it says a lot of stuff's free. It should be really all free. Um, you know you can kind of change it to be what you want. I'm just going to use a square. So it pops over here, and at first it pops um, to be gray, and I don't want gray. So um, up here, okay, this is where it's the color. So you can go through here and change it, and you can have a whole array of colors. I am just going to pick um, blue here for right now. Okay. Um, and then if you're like, okay, I want this to be the size of, this is like the, like the template size. So I really want it to take up the entire, um, template. Okay. Um, so you can just drag the corners. Okay. Um, if you drag the corner, it will keep it in proportion. If, um, you want to change the proportion. So see how now it's getting wider. All right. So if you do it that way, it works this. All right, so now I have that. Now, as I'm working on it, I don't want this to keep moving around. So up here, it has a little, it looks like a little lock. That's literally going to lock it in place. Okay, so now I can't move it around. Okay. Um, and then now I can go and, and if you had to want more shapes, like, okay, say, for, okay, so say I wanna have like some more squares because I want to do it where, um, you know, I want the yellow for my um, Ikea thing. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Um, and then, you know, so you can do that. I'm um, pretty sure you can do control C, control V, the normal um, Windows commands to make it so that way you can copy paste and line that up. And again, if you don't want these to move, Okay, I can control um, shift. I just did shift and then I clicked. So these are both selected and I also going to lock those as well. All right, so none of this could be moved around. Okay, so that way when I'm doing text on top of it, it's not going to get in my way and be annoying. Okay, so now I want to add the, um, the text. So you're going to have a lot of different kinds of font. This is just it has the different words on it, but just telling you that like what the font's going to look like and stuff like that. Um, I just want a, just a nice generic one. Um, maybe I don't want it too big and bold. I don't like the medium one here. So it says this, but you all you have to do is just you know delete like backspace, delete it, and put in what you want it to say. Okay, so no caps I. Kia. Yeah. Okay, um, and then I can also make it bigger. So I'm just taking the corner of it so that way it stays in proportion. Um, if I just did, if I did it where it's just a side, it's actually doesn't really change the size of the, the font, it's just changing the size of the text box. Okay, but I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger because I want to kind of fill up the space some more. Um, and then I also don't want it black anymore. So I'm going to change that. I say to white when I was doing this before. Um, so I can change that, okay, um, and then you also have other options up here as well, the same thing as, you know, you've had before, um, 
so you can change that. Okay. Um, and then, let's see. 